Hello, honored sisters and brothers of PSAC. I'm Peter Waldorf, the General Secretary of Public Services International, PSI. I bring you greetings on behalf of the 20 million women and men who join you as members of our Global Union Federation. We are supporting your struggle for your trade union rights, fair wages and working conditions in Canada. And you are gathered now to make strategic decisions on how to move forward. Be assured that you are not alone as you do this. As we are remembered on May Day, it's all about solidarity. Take heart that you have millions of fellow members in PSI standing side by side with you as you fight for justice. We stand with you as you work to defeat the neoliberal agenda of the Harbour government, which has just announced it will cut over 19,000 vital jobs in the federal public service. We stand with you as you fight to turn back the brutal cuts in wages, pensions, services such as the environmental protection and to the CBC, the people's voice. And we stand with you in questioning how it could be that Canadian banks made over $22 billion in profits last year. And yet, the Canadian government sees fit to cut over $5 billion from the public services budget. We stand with you in your call to reverse corporate tax cuts, which are making the rich richer and the rest of the Canadians poorer. It's time to take bold collective action as trade unionists within our countries and across the borders, around the world, from Wisconsin and USA to Durban, South Africa. As part of our Quality Public Services Action Now campaign, members of PSI are demanding that governments support a financial transaction tax to fund public services. We hope you will join in this call for Robin Hood tax, a demand that we are taking to the Rio Plus 20 Earth Summit and to the meetings of G20 leaders in June. I must commend PSAC for being a shining light for international solidarity. I had the honor of being in Haiti recently with PSAC members as we celebrated the opening of new headquarters for our Haitian affiliate CTSB. Their office, destroyed in the 2010 earthquake, was rebuilt through the joint efforts of PSI, PSAC, QP and other unions who together raised $100,000. I also want to acknowledge the strong vision and leadership that your national president John Gordon has demonstrated in his many years with PSAC. PSI thanks you, John, for all you have done to strengthen solidarity both in Canada and around the world. Our Wisconsin affiliates greatly appreciated your participation in the PSI solidarity delegation there in March. Enjoy your well-deserved retirement. And of course, we look forward to working with the new leadership that you will elect in your convention. We will see you at the PSI's World Congress at the end of November this year in Durban, South Africa, where a thousand PSI members will gather to discuss global strategies under our Congress banner in the people's interest. So, sisters and brothers in PSAC, keep up the good fight. PSI is with you every step of the way.